NPH. Leaders in Canadian basketball. Introducing a six foot four point guard out of Mississauga, Ontario, Nazareth Long. Long enters his freshman year in the fall of 2012 while accomplishing a great deal, making his friends, coaches, teammates, and family proud. Starting high school at Father Gates Secondary in Mississauga, Long transferred to the national powerhouse Finley Prep in Las Vegas, playing behind lightning quick point guard Mike Cabongo, currently at Texas, and high flying Nick Johnson at Arizona. Following a year of development, Long returned home to play at St. Martin's for his final year. In the process, the young man has inspired an entire school population to work hard and achieve. Uh, you know, the fact that you know, I'll be in the gym shooting and I got kids around just, you know, watching, kind of like, I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm like Jordan or anything, but it's somewhat inspirational. You know, um, it feels good because, you know, it kind of shows them like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a D1 athlete next year. Mm -hmm. And that, that was my dream, and that's a dream come true, and that's, that's a lot of kids' dreams, you know. And for kids to be able to just look at a D1 athlete, you know, and just see what, what kind of what it takes, you know, it could be inspirational. Um, like I said, I'm not trying to say I'm the best up, because I know I have a lot of work to do. You know, but when I was younger and I used to look up to guys like, you know, like Andrew Nicholson, I used to watch them practice all the time, um, all the time, and you know, I used to be inspired because I just thought that, you know, that's where I wanted to be. I wanted to be performing at the highest level. So the fact that I could be home and the fact that I get support from all around, text messages, Twitter messages, Facebook messages saying, you know, they're, they're fans and um, they support me being home and they're watching, you know, it just feels great because it's an honor. Despite a lack of minutes at Finley, Long used the experiences as a platform to develop and mature, understanding it's all part of his evolution. I treated every practice like it was a game. I'm not just saying this because, you know, I was on the bench majority of the time just to save and just to cover myself up. You know, I still worked hard and I did get better, but as well as Mike Apollo who pushed me to get better, Nick Johnson, Eric Garrett, Kevin Casper, all our seniors, all the juniors, sophomore, my little girl Nigel, we all worked hard, you know what I'm saying? And 
just because I didn't perform in the high school level doesn't mean I didn't perform in the AAU level. I, I played good with, with CIA Bounce. You know, I, I, I had a bunch of great guys around me, so I, I was able to do some rock. You know, they, they could get my assists up. But I know I can perform against people all in the States as well as people all in Canada. Everyone's human in my eyes. So there's not a person that I fear. There's not a person that I feel like I can't go at. There's not a person I feel like I can't guard. You know, and that's, that's just something in my heart. That's just in my blood. You know, and the fact that I didn't play too, too much over at Finley, like I said, does not mean that I did not become a better player. Because I was up at 5 a.m. during the, the sprints. I was there doing the weightlifting. I was there at the practices. And the coaches know that, you know, I, I'll do anything to win. He, he came onto the scene, uh, you know, in the prep school and, and did well at, at both of the places he was at. But like you said, played behind Mike Cabongo. And I think in hindsight, you know, if you were to ask the coaches, they'd probably tell you that, uh, At the same time, for, for a guy like Nas to go through that, that that's something that he strives on and something that helps, you know, his inner desire to, to get better. Mm -hmm. um, he'll probably tell you those were the best things that he ever went through because it, it's taught him to be stronger mentally yeah. and, and he's worked on his game a lot. As the clock ticked on the Finley High School season, summer basketball was right around the corner and it was time to earn respect. Long was the floor general for a CIA bounce team that featured McDonald's All-American Anthony Bennett and Andrew Wiggins, widely regarded as the number one player in the world for the 2014 class. For a guy to do that, you got to have a lot of guts and, and just be a natural born leader. Because it's, it's one thing, you know, like Andrew Wiggins is considered like next to LeBron, Anthony Bennett is another special guy. Coming so if you get those types of guys and Nas still has a confidence to lead as a coach, I like that because you know you're, you're, if you can coach to one point, but your point has to be an extension of you, and he did a good job of doing that. And, and I think it just again it just shows how much he's developed. And I think Iowa State has a special player coming your way. All the fans in Iowa and Ames and stuff, you know, that's kind of why I picked this school because the whole city, the whole town is basically on Iowa State. You know what I'm saying? They have 30,000 kids go to that school. And, just to, you know, wake up and get a message from, like, one of the people out of Cyclone Nation, you know, it's just, it's just uplifting, and I love it, and there's, there's nothing like, that's like, that's what I live for, the support, but, you know, the hate as well, I love that too, because it's humbling, you know what I'm saying, it, you just read it, and then, you know, you just, like, try to persevere in, in, in your sport, you know, and it's motivating, so, you know, it, I just, I, it's the best of both worlds, and I, I can't picture myself going to any other school other than Iowa State, because, when I do go there, I want to make, um, you know, improvements on myself and become a better player. And, you know, hopefully I can help them and we can all win a national championship. I, I mean, you know, it's like life doesn't wait for nobody, you know, so sooner or later I got to start doing that on my own. You know, and um, if I'm going to be gone for like a good four years, you know, back and forth, majority over in Iowa State. So, you know, it's going to happen sometime or another. So I just got to get prepared, you know, prepare myself and I'm uh, ready to become a man because, you know, Soon I'm going to be on my own, you know, come visit my, my mom and dad and I just got to be ready for it.